Latest tremors at U.S. supervolcanoes show ground deformations. These are threats from Yellowstone and Long Valley calderas. And as scientists warn, we've had a 3.1 earthquake in Yellowstone yesterday. That's besides the various smaller tremors that have been going on for days. And also the Long Valley caldera, as we see here, January 7th, 2.5, 56 kilometers at Mammoth Lake. Mammoth Lakes are in the Long Valley caldera area, right there, just east of San Francisco. And uh, you had a 2.7 at 47 kilometers, just about the same time. This was, uh, of course, on uh, January, again, January 7th. This is earthquakes in the Long Valley caldera of California, which is one of the biggest supervolcanoes of the world. Now, according to scientists' warnings, we have to be looking at this, monitoring these very closely. This giant supervolcano beneath California could be equal, they say, if not greater, as a threat to the U.S. than a Yellowstone supervolcano. This is what the scientists have revealed. This is a, also a brief of Sebastian Kelly's Express UK article from his information from USGS. The Long Valley Caldera, Eastern California, is 20 miles long and is one of the world's largest volcanic calderas. This supervolcano measures approximately 10 miles in width and is up to 3,000 feet deep. But there are very few people who know about this existence of the supervolcano east of the central Sierra Nevada range, so close to uh, north of Las Vegas in this Southern California area. So, uh, this potentially makes it the greater threat than Yellowstone. A study published this August in the science journal Geoscience World states that they have found evidence of ground deformation at Long Valley Caldera, which is a supervolcano. And it's very, of course, very near Yellowstone. In relation to supervolcanoes, one towards the other, they sort of overlap each other. Geologists who led the study found ongoing uplift suggests new magma may have intruded into the reservoir since at least their very uh, analytical measurements taken from 1978. They say the uplift could be evidence of moving molten rock or even the crystallization of material deep beneath the ground. The study says, despite 40 years of diverse investigations, the presence of large volumes of melt in Long Valley's magma reservoir remain unresolved. The scientists estimated the Long Valley caldera reservoir contains considerable quality qualities of melt, likely greater than 240 cubic miles. That's almost as big as Yellowstone. About 27% of this melt could be, could be hot enough to be scorching liquid rock. According to the U.S. Geological Survey, USGS, Long Valley Caldera Volcano last erupted about 100,000 years ago. And today, this supervolcano caldera is thermally active with a number of hot springs and fumaroles dotting its landscape, very much like what's happening in Yellowstone. However, the comparison to Yellowstone Volcano, which is a supervolcano, do not stop there because Long Valley could potentially be as devastating if it were to erupt. Yellowstone Caldera, last caldera forming eruption, tore through the U.S. about 60, 640,000 years ago. The terrifying blast formed the current 35 mile by 50 mile Yellowstone Supervolcano Caldera. So that's the whole area of Yellowstone where people go and visit. They're actually stepping in the caldera of the supervolcano. The whole area is a supervolcano caldera. But there is no way for USGS scientists to predict whether such an eruption will occur again in the future. 
For now, the odds of the California supervolcano Long Valley caldera erupting appeared to be less than 1% per year. The USGS said increased volcanic unrest, including earthquake swarms, ground deformation, and CO2 gas emissions along the Long Valley area since 1980 increases the chance of an eruption occurring in the near future, but scientists still lack adequate data to reliably calculate how much. Now, the thing is that we do have areas of the dead tree zones in the Long Valley caldera, caldera and there are dead trees. These are caused by the emission of volcanic gases, including CO2, that uh, make it impossible for the trees to breathe properly, to aerate themselves properly, and they die from these volcanic gases, not just CO2, it's other gases as well, obviously. So volcano unrest, volcanic unrest, is some other large volcanic system that has persisted for decades or even centuries without leading to an eruption. But since volcanic unrest can escalate to an eruption very quickly, as we have seen, for example, last year uh, in uh, May to June, in uh, the hotspot of Hawaii, Kilauea, they had a tremendous amount of, of um, tremors, earthquake unrest, deformation, and it quickly erupted. So uh, they say that it can escalate to an eruption quickly in a few weeks, days, or even less. The USGS scientists are monitoring the activity closely, of course. This is one of the areas where they do have a volcano observatory is in Yellowstone, they also have one in Hawaii, and they also have another one where we have a tremendous amount of volcanic activity and recently um, volcanic eruption is in Alaska. Now the USGS scientists said the odds of Long Valley blowing up are roughly equivalent to the yearly odds of a magnitude 8 earthquake striking along the San Andreas fault line in California. Well, it's nicer than to remind us of San Andreas also being in California, and uh, God knows if that's if that goes off, would it also have an effect on the nearby supervolcano of Long Valley Caldera, shaking the earth that way, or will even Long Valley Caldera have effects on the Yellowstone supervolcano? Long Valley is one of the three supervolcanoes in North America, alongside Yellowstone and Valles Caldera, which is in New Mexico. So that's the update on this. We have been having a tremendous amount of um, upticks on the uh, uh, strength, the size of the earthquakes in the area to being around three and 3.1. So they're not one or two or two and a half magnitude, they're much higher. Showing, of course, some kind of underground activity and deformation. I'll leave links below for you for this on USGS, on University of Utah, Seismographic Stations, and Express UK.
if you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media, and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.